In Life is a Beach News. Tropical place. Uh, submitted by A. A. Ron. Oh. Uh, Brazil's, Brazil's Sand King is celebrating 22 years living in a sand castle on the beach. Wow. Who's the Sand King? I have a always wanted to live in a sand castle. I wonder is if it how he goes? The, the third? Oh, a moat. Ugo? Is it Ugo? Uh, the thing I'd be scared about is what if there was a windy night and then the sand castle just collapsed? The yeah. sand castle. But they the have the like glue. They have oh. sand glue? Yeah, did, right? Did I just make that up? Are Didn't they tell us? No, with the last time we went to Hawaii, there was like a sand contest. And then they use like a. Jess told us because she was in these contests. That's are, your girlfriend. Why are you getting frantic right now? I need you to relax. <laughs> it's not that <laughs> big of a deal. That's how I feel in every part. You're not on trial here, it's just a memory. <laughs> you would see your face as yours are like this. It was that's, nothing like that. We could actually show that. That's my seat all the time. I feel your pain, girl. <laughs> Me too. Oh I feel your pain. Judging is there such a thing as sagle? What do you mean, was there sagle? I don't know about sagle. What's going on here? Yeah, that's a struggle. Because <laughs> your faces have the Just dumb wanted idiot. to know what sand glue was. You have a dumb idiot. Shut up, face. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're all like, who are you at? Just back me up, back me up while she left. <laughs> Jess is gone. I thought, I thought they used water. I didn't know such thing as well, sand glue. Well, she uses water to like cement Just it. All I'm saying is, ah, uh, that's scary. I know, and then if it rains. Mm hmm. I'm not an optimist when it comes to sand. That shit is motherfucking fickle. <laughs> Motherfucking pickle. <laughs> yeah, so this guy, his name, or he goes by the name of King Marcio. And so he's been. Dang, you have a competition, dude. Well, I mean, like, there's many kings in the world, maybe. From king to king, we could have a conversation. I want to live in a cave. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so laughs> what the fuck? Oh my bad. You know, like, uh, uh, oh, I had one of your moments. A uh, fucking, um, my? you know, no, no this was moments. Because I was thinking about how, um, in the desert, people live in caves because it's a lot cooler. And then they've actually built There's caves in the deserts? Yeah, so they move out to the desert and they live in caves. And it's cool because some of those areas have like skylights. But then the, it's always cold down there. Yeah. And I, I was thinking of that. And then it was really hot when I went to that place that has a lot of stalagmites and malactites. Or <laughs> stalagmites and stalactites. And What's the yeah the one tights are from the top okay. mites are from mites. Okay, yeah, yeah. but it was it was like a refrigerator downstairs. A refrigerator. It was, it was so nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could live here all day. Uh, is it calico or some shit like that? You've been there before. Okay, yeah, I know. You've been there. About. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but I just don't remember where it's at. <laughs> I went to one in Cancun. They have like this whole big old place. It's really nice. But anyways, this guy. He is 44 years old. I single. thought he was going to be white. Joe, <laughs> you got competition like crazy. He even has a fucking legit crown. That shit's a plastic piece of shit you could get at the 99 oh. cent store. You know what's okay. so you know what's He's so funny? Right huh? Would have never ever thought he was a black person. Why? Because you don't think black people can make sand castles? No, he because be black. because in America, years of the sun. because in America there's a there is a stereotype that black people don't like water, so I don't picture him next to the sand. But then I this think about Jamaica. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. But then I'm thinking like internationally. Uh, yeah, that doesn't exist. Yeah. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, so this is his cat. Outside of America. Oh, that looks so cool. That's a legit cat. He has a dog too. Yeah. Why? Why did that stand That's up? That's awesome. Joe, you gotta up your game. Awesome. Well, honestly, I don't know if it's his, though, but he is in a lot of books. Well, he's taking a picture with it. Yeah, he also has this yeah. book exchange thing. Like, he has a table next to his castle, and people could just, like, come I up and exchange that. a book. Yeah. They have wow. that in Pasadena. Yeah, and so he makes money by... Mm -hmm. Yeah, all over. I need to explore my In South city. Pasadena. Yeah, they have little cubbies like this, and then the neighborhood puts in their used books. Oh, dope. And you just open it, and then you just swap it out. Ooh. Oh, damn. I have a lot of books about uh, youth and education that they could swap out. Oh my god, I heard euthanasia. <laughs> <laughs> like, why do you have a lot of books on euthanasia? Youth and education? Yeah. Because I don't need those. Because it was a school. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I was like, why are you such a... I'm not, I never knew you were so much into child development and like education. I, I pictured you with a freaking bookshelf of like nothing but textbooks and research journals and shit. I have a lot about... Because I was I was a social and education major. Mm -hmm. You were? I didn't know that either. A sociology major? Yeah. You One of my favorite topics, by the way. That's how... Yeah, I wanted to be a teacher, so... I, di I do because I like those old films where the teachers come in and fuck up the students. So that was one of my dreams. 
I just like sociology was fun because it was literally the study of people. Yep, I yeah, like I mean? it too. So it was fucking fun, and that's actually how I found out about YouTube. Mm. It was because of uh, sociology. My specialty in psychology was social psych. Type. And it's a what do you call it? The interdisciplinary mm. type, where you learn uh, social sciences along mm. with the psychology and how it affects people. I like yeah. it. Yeah. See, we smart as shit. Damn, you guys are That's smart. Tight. Not really, because those majors don't get you fucking no money, man. Fuck that. But it does help. It doesn't help you with money, but it helps you understand people. Yeah, really well. That's true. And then That's you could be like a lawyer. That's why you're or so good. <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> I just liked, uh, especially education, like children, just because I really wanted to go to education, and I hated how school systems were run. Oh, uh, that's so, so cool. Do you want to teach Taika? Taika and Isaac, like we can, you can be the. I can only help them up until algebra comes. <laughs> so, you don't need to know. I, I can help them with like emotional education and how to like solve, like problem solve. But that's like what. That's I like really the relationship want. stuff. Yeah, and then I think it's just because I loved after school programs. I thought after school programs were the shit, and when they were getting cut, that shit pissed me off a lot mm. because I knew a lot of kids that could have used that shit. They have nowhere to go, yeah. and it sucked. That's what's gonna happen if you guys make me rich. I'm putting that shit in the education of children. That's awesome. Let's make them rich. I have a, this a theory for the conspiracy that like, um, well first off, our education is outdated as a motherfucker. Yeah. And not all school systems are created equal. Like, you know, the LAUSD, the Los Angeles School Unified School District, is different from like Texas, New York, and all these other places. So I can't speak of all of the America, but I know from my experience in the inner hood department, that our <laughs> shit sucked. Department. It sucked so bad, dude. Like, and on top of that, you have teachers that have a lot of heart, but they also come from like middle class, lower middle, middle class backgrounds. So there's not enough uh, like exposure to the outside world where you have teachers from rich neighborhoods and all that teaching the kids everything that everything that they know. So it's like people just stay in their class, right? But here's my conspiracy. They fill us up with a bunch of pointless bullshit, so we don't learn how to do nothing. Mm. So it's like, imagine you, you're spending all these hours, like, textbooks about bullshit, and it's like, well, teach me how to make money. I can't teach you to do that, because I'm a broke teacher too. I don't know how to make money either. See? Oh, that's why I didn't want to become a teacher. You'd be broke. You know, at the time when I start, when I when I wanted to be uh, a high school teacher, they started the average salary that they would start in the in the district that I wanted to work at was about twenty five thousand starting. How the fuck are you gonna live off of twenty five thousand? That's all I'm saying. You can't have broke people teach people how to be rich. It's like broke people teaching people how to be broke. Exactly. So like a lot of these teachers would have a second job, twenty five thousand dollars starting, right? And then you get bumped to thirty five after. That's so sad. Yeah, what the that fuck? Are you, you could, I could have made more money working at In and Out. I can see why he lives in a castle now. Exactly. I mean, even though it is Brazil. Do you have any pictures of the inside? Yeah. There's oh, an cool. inside to this thing? Yeah, I is. thought it was just pretty Show on the outside. Show it to me! Wow. So here's another angle. Hell yeah, I'd be his best friend if I was a kid. I'd be so into it. I know. Uh, that's kind of weird. He's 44 and all of his friends are like six. No, I'm sure. You don't know that. No, he has other friends because sometimes he'll mention that's that sick. the inside of his sand castle will at times retain too much Dude. heat so he can't sleep there at night. So he has he sleep over at a friend's house or he'll just end up sleeping over or like sleeping outside out, of it. Outside of it, yeah. Yeah. Dude, straight up, yeah. I bet you there's a lot of women who want to be fucked inside of a castle. Bam. Right I'm sure there's and, porn for that. And there, there's a lot of uh, girls that want to be oh, with a king. Wow. Yo, there's actual structure. Yeah, he has like wood. That boy has baby oil all over his body. <laughs> it could be sunblock. Yeah. Or it could oh, just be sweat. He's in Brazil. Sweat, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hot as shit. Yeah, it's hot as Look here. at his look at his library. The yeah. Kingdom's library. Yeah. He's well read. That's dope. Yeah. And then he so he'll charge people like Does to it. take photos and stuff. You know stuff what the next photo is? Pay. The next photo is the guy coming up and kicking this kid off the chair. No. <laughs> Get the fuck off my chair! If it's not like this, I would pay because I see the value in like the time spent creating yeah. his masterpiece. I think that's amazing. Yeah, he says his art is similar to like Gaudi. I like, wish, I wish that that entire sandcastle is made out of cement actually and it's unbreakable. So when a motherfucker like Logan Paul thinks he's funny, tries to come and kick it over, he just breaks his foot on it. <laughs> That's what I hope. Well, he says that he loves the fact that he's been living in a sandcastle because sand he doesn't castle. mind like if it starts raining and the whole thing collapses. He's like, cool, now I get to have like another 
I get to project. remodel. Yeah. What a positive dude. Yeah, and he, he says that he just can't <laughs> stand, like, he would not be happy living in, like, one home. Like, just be trapped in, like, one type of home. He really likes this, how he just has a whole bunch of create, creative freedom. He can yeah. just make his house into whatever he wants. I just wish he had a moat. So it's just With like... alligators in it? Yeah, that'd be dope. It's Brazil. He could have like a big ass python just going around his castle. That would be so cool. I want to go in the castle. That's why I want to go to Europe. So I can go. Oh, I'm so scared of it being haunted. You know you can buy castles. What? Yeah, there's some for sale. Nicholas Cage bought some. Yep. Wow. He's broke now too. He's well, bankrupt. Also bought an island too, didn't he? Yeah. Stopped. He doesn't know how to use his money, right? <laughs> That's why he takes every roll that comes across his. Well, way. you're afraid of castles because you think they're haunted. Uh. Yeah. I love castles. Oh, I should go check them out. Can you because imagine all the old. murders and rape that it happened yeah, in a castle? Out of all the people that go there, why would you be so special to get haunted? I don't think it's just me. I think we'd all get haunted. I won't get haunted. I think everyone that goes in there gets haunted. I won't get haunted and you're with me, so you're, you check out. I feel like if I got haunted, they'll just be like, what is this thing? Is he human? Because they don't know what Japanese people are. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they're just Europeans. They're just like, oh, what is this? But they would want you thing? to get out of their space. That's what. No, I'm but saying. they haven't been updated, so they don't even know. Yeah, they uh, wouldn't even know what I am. But they're, they're they might like, think that that I'm an alien haunting them. Yeah. Right, but then you're in their house, so they're gonna try to get you Why out. Why is this scared. creature with no eyelids? As long as you don't believe, girl, you're safe. Do you just believe? Don't believe. Oh, that's like some good Christian talk right there. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe. Just don't believe you're safe. <laughs> All right.